Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. And today we're gonna start earning money with no resources whatsoever. As always, we look for the corner between uh, NATO and Soviet countries because it's going to make our uh, money work, work worth more because uh, creating buildings, finishing buildings on the borderlines, it's much cheaper than doing it in the middle of the map. And border between those two, because we have two different currencies, is the best place to start. Okay, so let's build the city. Okay, here we go. Everything here you see, it's vanilla. There's no cheats, except one actually. I'm using a cheat mode. It's not like a cheat mode. It's uh, if you press button C, H and E, you get this additional menu. So H, C and E. And you have a mod for line spacing. Um, that's that your buses can be equally uh, spaced out in between them. And uh, that's it. No cheat mods money-wise. I spend all my dollars. I created a small town for buildings. We do have 500 people straight away living in there. I will increase this to uh, to 600. Here you can see 500 immigrants. I will get uh, just randomly imported with rubles. One, two, three. And I'm gonna go here and go another one, two, three. One, two, three. And one over here. So this will all together mean that we have uh, 600 immigrants. This is a small town. 600 immigrants, that will be 600 workers working in this town. Just let me show you that as well. 600 workers. It will increase as well. I did, heads up straight away, lower the amount of workers working in your shops, stores, hospitals and so on, um, like um, uh, I put only 5 people in your hospitals, I put only minimum of 10 people in your university, yes we're starting with university as well, even though it's not needed in this case, uh, only normal workers are okay, but I always start with university as well, uh, city hall, 20 out of 25, not full, full spread of people and usually I put half in this case we can go for maybe 10 people maybe nine working here cinema has only three only two out of five and shops are down from to 15 out of 25 uh, pool also I lowered it down pool is the only building that you have during the uh, winter that can house uh, sports enthusiasts that is not modded and I have three kindergartens one of them has zero staff I will not put it in operation until later because it's not needed in the initially and plus I have some additional space here to expand our city if we need to we will we'll not need to I will not expand it this is only gonna last for six months um, fire department here just a Diverse diversity of vehicles. We have three hospital vehicles. I have one heating station. It uh, it's 143 percent. It's gonna be perfectly fine for summer. We don't need it during the winter. I'm not gonna go into winter, but during the winter, you just build one or more of these here. They're gonna be covering absolutely everything. As you can see, the whole city is covered with uh, heating, and the uh, refinery is up and running. The only problem is we don't have no oil. Uh, I'm not sure if we have it on the map. Probably we do somewhere. There are some here on the hills, but we don't care about that. We're going to be importing everything that we have. So we're going to be buying one train. Uh, let's see how much financially that's going to be. We're going to go for diesel locomotives, of course, the cheapest one, of course. And I'm going to go for cargo wagons. We have oil ones here. I'm going to go as many as I can. I will leave a little bit of money for our financial situation. So. Uh, for our finances. I will tell this train to go to the border crossing and to this one here. So on the border crossing it's gonna be uh, wait until loaded, loading the oil. Coming here is gonna be unloading the oil and loading both uh, bitumen and fuel. So uh, this is gonna be unloading oil and loading bitumen and fuel. And the same thing on the border, it's gonna be unloading bitumen and fuel. So technically what we are doing here, we are we are exporting, we are importing oil and exporting uh, finished products. In this case, would be fuel and bitumen as a finished products. So we're gonna be just creating this one, selecting the train, and off you go. I'm pretty sure we have everything done. If I have, if I missed anything, I will. Uh, you will see that in just one second. Yes, missed one thing. Usually, if we have a little bit of money left over, like we do right now, I like to upgrade all these roads. Actually, this is not 
I like to with extra money I do this all the time these roads that turn it into gravel roads initially just because I want our buses to have smooth ride there and back so they can supply our workers as many workers as possible like I said initially we won't have any oil but uh, we are taking care of that as we speak I will speed this up and if there's no any updates I will see you in six months five six months okay I had enough so this is how it went Right, uh, I didn't upgrade the train, I was thinking I'm gonna do it, but there's no need because this bad boy is selling the crap load of everything and it's even supplying us with more oil than we can process at this pace. Definitely bigger city would be a better investment, but unfortunately in the beginning we didn't have so much money that we could have more people, but now we do. And uh, I mean, we had as soon as we started earning this money. So what's the deal? What happened? Well, uh, oil happened, <laughs> always as uh, oil, as always, as I say, it's uh, the best way to start. And of course, we don't have anything except, well, what you see here, we're importing all of our, all our oil. Uh, we only have one storage for importing oil and kind of struggles with processing this, but that would be a lower amount of people usually working in the pr refinery. If you, if you wonder how to construct this, I actually made a video, so hopefully you can see it right here. And uh, if you want to see how, how to construct the city, functional city, usually I do it a little bit bigger. Uh, if we have a cheaper industry that requires more people, uh, this one is a little bit more expensive, especially that includes trains we didn't start with, with uh, trucks. So yeah, what can I say? Let's see. I can say this. Uh, last month, 81,000. Uh, two months, if we count for last two months, 174,000. So that would be more than double. And then we have from the 1st of June, it would be 252,000. This is only a profit. This is not the exports. We have exports are skyrocketing. This is exports plus our expenses, which most of them true would be oil. But anyway, uh, let's see what else we can see here from 1st of May. It would be 300 and. 20,000 divide that by four and there you go this is how much money you can earn by processing oil not mining it not doing anything you're we're importing everything that we need except oil and of course I had this little pipe going there and just refilling our fuel tanks which this train doesn't really use that much oil even if we imported oil it, it wouldn't change things much uh, city wise population wise 687 remember we started with 600 uh, workers 87 we got in these five months or so uh, we have more coming more children coming if you watch my previous videos you would know that um, birth rates are going up and uh, not going up they're actually down from what uh, a year ago it was but they are still quite high so let me see if the birth rates here 48 deaths 624 births uh, this is what we got so what's the conclusion this is freaking profitable. This is really, really profitable. Uh, if you don't have any resources, if you want to start somewhere in the middle of nowhere, even if you want to start a map without resources, starting with oil is definitely, definitely profitable. This is even more so than I expected. I expected 30, 40,000 a month. I think that was a previous uh, calculation. But now, this is just amazing. Anyway, guys, look. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. I'm going to make more. If you don't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, hope it was helpful. And that's it. Have a nice one. Oh, everything is in the description of the video. If you want to help out the channel, Discord channel, all that stuff. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.